Uh. Yeah. Brother Reed. Uh. Bobby Evans. I'm Alex Pardee, the creator of the Night of the Triple line, which will be coming out in mid-October. I'm 32 years old. I grew up in, in a little town called Antioch, California, which is in the East Bay. I've been in the San Francisco Bay my whole life. I've been drawing off and on just my whole life. Like I started doodling and trying to copy newspaper comics and went back when I thought Haggard the Horrible was awesome. You know, trying to draw Garfield and, and all that and since I was little, but I never really took drawing really, really seriously until I was about 14 years old and I got really, I started missing a lot of school. I was really, I felt physically sick. It, it turned out that it was like I had really, really bad like anxiety and depression disorder and all this stuff. And, and at that age, I was just freaking out. I didn't know what was wrong with me and nobody really did. And it was kind of before the whole Prozac thing. And so there was, you know, all, there was a lot of things into it. So I ended up missing a lot of school and going into the hospital for a little while. And during that time, I was heavily into superhero comics. And then the Max came out and it was like, visually it was crazy. It was like these splattery lines and you know, people just don't look realistic. It's like this guy's 900 pounds and he's holding this little girl that's one pound. And it just, it was really, really cool visually. But then when I read it, it was like the first comic book that I had read that dealt with personal issues and personal things that, you know, younger people that have these emotions can relate to. And so that, at that moment, Sam Keith was like my hero, like this is who I want to be when I grow up, like I want to do these kind of things, I want to tell these kind of stories because of the way that I was feeling like, you know, the only thing that would really keep me happy or just keep my mind off of things was drawing. So that's kind of when I made the decision that I, no matter what, like what form of it was, uh, I wanted to do that forever, like whether it was drawing or painting or just creating in general, just like still to this day, it's the only thing that really keeps my mind off of anything, is just drawing, so. I get inspired by anything and everything. I get inspired by my friends, I get inspired by books, by movies, by pretty much, I mean obviously other artists. I'm a huge movie buff, uh, mainly horror movies and stuff, I just watch everything. My favorite horror movie of all time is Creepshow. The George Romero, Stephen King movie from 82, I think. Since that moment, I was just like, dude, horror movies are my favorite thing in the entire world. I've always been attracted to just weird, grotesque, and the bizarre, and the not normal, and, and unsettling images, and, and this and that. And, and, and I don't think that it really translates a lot in the work that I do, but it's definitely like, I draw what I like to see. You know, here I am getting Creep Show and Garbage Pail Kids, and Santa Cruz Skateboard Art, and all of that kind of influenced my visually what I what I looked up to at the time I absorb pretty much everything that's around me and then subconsciously you know I collect it and then I just start working and my imagination just kind of ends up on the canvas the, the one thing that's been consistent about the media that I use is probably pen and ink or brush and ink uh, I'm you know once again it probably stems from my love for those old tales from the crypt comics and and comics in general is just the I've always admired really, really good line work. There's one thing about my art, which is that it doesn't necessarily stay constant. Like what I was doing six months ago, I'm not doing now. The way that my whole art has been going is, is just, it's a constantly experimentation. Like I don't really know what I'm good at, so I'm constantly just exploring because I'm, maybe I'm missing an opportunity, like maybe oil paints are the best for me, you know? So I'm gonna try to go use those. If I fail at that, something came out of it that I can apply to something that I already know. So it, it, it's just, I'm constantly changing, but I think the consistency of it is the black and white line work that, that I, I do. Working with Hurley um, has been amazing. Uh, basically, you know, I've had a good relationship from them in the past. We've, we've done some ads together. We did a few shirt designs, you know, a year or two ago. When they approached me to do a new line, it was like, you know, dude, yeah, you know, what are my restrictions? And basically they were like, there are no restrictions. What do you want to do? And I was like, what? Hell yeah. And, you know, and since then, it's just been nothing but support and, and awesomeness. Like, you know, like they have basically catered to everything creative that I've, that I've offered, which has never really happened before. It's, it's, it's a really cool experience. For any young 
artists, I guess I would just say, when you're first starting out, to obviously be heavily influenced by other people. You know, if it goes with, if, if you're not in school for it, if you're not actively learning something, copy something until you get it good, you know, and kind of take influence from other people's art and then, and but learn to mold it into your own. Definitely get a website, get a MySpace page, get everything and try to share, you know, try to link up with people as much as you can. The most important thing is, is just do it and persistence in the art world is probably one of the most important things not to get frustrated you know try not to compare yourself to other people that you look up to I know it's tough but like it'll just bring you down or it'll push you to, to do better but if it's you and it really is what you're doing and it really is com comes from inside of you then there's nothing wrong with it at all so Make sure you be on the lookout for the Night of the Triple Line. One day he lay up in the bed alone. His wife had got fed up and gone to a motel to get a home. Ring, ring, then he stretched to get the telephone.